Boys, where the Greyhounds girls and boys soccer squads welcome the Denfield Hunters to town in some great doubleheader action. The first half of action was scoreless between the two teams, so we hop to the 55th minute. Greyhounds fighting to maintain possession in the offensive zone. That's when Zach Wallerstein hits a bounce pass to his teammate Jackson Whitehill, who strikes it home with authority, giving the Greyhounds a 1-0 lead. And they were on the attack all night. This time, it's Will Smith for the Greyhounds, streaking down the field, and he hits the crossbar on that shot. Score stays at 1-0. But Smith wouldn't be denied. He hits the brakes hard and then rockets it home, get jiggy with it. Will Smith, he'd score another late one to give the Greyhounds the 3-0 victory over Denfeld. Then earlier in the night, it was the girls' time to shine as the same two schools took the field. Luth East with the early lead and trying to add more. Greyhound Lucille Philman takes a step around the defender and puts on one on the net. Great save by Hunter's goalie, Carly Larson. And Larson would become the story of this game. Another Greyhound's attack is stopped by Larson, who is a brick wall tonight with 19 saves in this one. Credit the Greyhounds, though, for the constant offensive pressure all game long. This time it's Lily Kudel trying to get on the board, but Larson stops her again. The Hunters couldn't give their goalie any goal support as they drop this one, one to nothing, the Greyhounds. Now we head to Proctor where the Rails hosted Cloquet Carlton. Lumberjackets get off to a quick start. In the fourth minute, Addison Sandman with a perfect pass through Rails defenders Lauren Hughes. Hurdles the goalie coming out of the net and open shot is in for the one nothing Cloquet lead. Same sore, six minutes later, Adeline Randall tries to put the ball in front of the net, but McKenna Smith comes across to shoot, gets one over Proctor's goalie to give the Lumberjacks a two nothing lead. Still 2-0 in the first half with a Cloquet corner click. Kick. Hughes places this one perfectly, but it's Natalie Hernandez with just one touch right past the goalie and the back of the net. Jacks get that up. 3-0. And they would keep their foot on the gas to shut out Proctor 8-0. Then over in H-Town, senior day for the Hawks. Ceremonial kickoff for senior Katie Sandlin. To game action, first half, Hawks had control. Brooke Judenick with an angle and a chance has a good look, but ball gets the side of the net and we'd be scoreless. Two Harbors, though, looking to capitalize on some of the few opportunities they had. Lola Lundgren with the wheels outruns all the Hawks defenders. Her shot at the net gets corralled with ease by Cambria Thomas. First half winding down. Dudnik battling, giving Maya Gunderson a clean look, but her shot is just a bit too strong. Then with 12 seconds left in the half, Agat's goalie gets two hands on it, but the ball is loose in front of the net. Ella Holmgren gets another good look at the net, but it's high. However, the Hawks would break through and win 4 to nothing. Last stop on the tour day prep soccer on the Northland. We go to the Esco football field where the Esco ladies hosted Duluth Marshall. It's a scoreless game, but Esco is trying to change that. Gwendolyn Lilly with the footwork. Marshall tries to deflect it out, but Liberty Clifford launches high towards the twine. But Sava Lindstrom's got the hops, makes the grab, and gets the stop. It's still zip. Second half now, and Esco's Caitlin McConnell sees nothing but net, and we finally got a goal. It's 1-0 the home team. But just a few minutes later, Esco draws a penalty, and Marshall takes advantage. Julia McGriffith initially gets blocked, but Heidi Weiss is there to recover and gets the job done. Pius went up 1-1, and that is where things stay, ending in a 1-1 draw.